122 years ago, someone gave his friend a Greek New Testament. And this is it right here. And uh, I got this off eBay. And um, it's a Textus Receptus. It's a Stephanus Textus Receptus. And for the very few people that might be interested on uh, YouTube, I am going to take a look at this and let you look at a Greek New Testament and what it looks like after 122 years. So you can actually still buy this Greek New Testament. Uh, uh, let's see. Cambridge Greek and Latin texts. Um, you can get, you can find these sometimes on eBay, um, but also they've got reprints, which are just sort of uh, actually they're usually cheaper reproductions of these. But this is a very, very small Greek New Testament, um, and I know it's 122 years old um, by this right here. Someone with the initials GH gave this to QH Copy. Um, if anybody watches this video and they know who who QH Copping was, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. Um, but this is like I said, this is really small. I think it's about five by six, and um, it was done by F H Scrivener. And what makes it kind of neat is. Um, that it is a comparison text, starting with the Textus Receptus of uh, Steph um, Stephanus, and then giving comparisons between the different um, printed editions that were available in his day. Beze, Lachman, Tiskendor, uh, Trigellus, and some of the others. Unfortunately, the, um, the preface is all in Latin. Yeah, as I was saying, it's hard for me to tell you what's in the preface of this because I don't read Latin um, but what was interesting is this is a little bit earlier edition this is 1859 when Scrivener put this together uh, there was a later edition that came out which was really similar to this one uh, that also included in the textual apparatus not only the notes from Trigellus and or the um, uh, the readings from Trigellus and uh, Tiskendor, but also the readings from what was new at the time, the Westcott and Hort text. Um, but the the font here in these older edition, this older edition is really small. Um, so, just for comparison, here is the um, uh, here's the uh, Tyndall House. Greek New Testament, you can just see the font size difference, hopefully. Um, it's really small font, uh, but it's very crisp and clear. It's a uh, italicized font. I didn't used to like that, but when you start looking at some of the um, older manuscripts, you notice that they all sort of, the cursive, it sort of reflects some of that cursive style. But what he does is when there is a variant, um, he places that in just a non-italicized font. So you can see there 20. You can go down here and he identifies for you um, the different reading there. And this um, apparatus is very thorough. I mean even minor spelling differences are taken note, uh, have been taken note of. Now this is a sewn binding. I don't know if perfect uh, binding existed at the time that this was made, but just kind of interesting. You think about the history and what might have gone behind this, you know, and who had it before, and um, what purposes it may have served in the past. Just sort of a, you know, a piece of history. You know, we're going through our coronavirus scare here. This, someone was reading this Greek New Testament before even the Spanish flu in 1918. Um, this was around through World War One, World War II, you know, just, I don't know, it's kind of neat just to have an older uh, book like this, and also see, um, you know, for those who were using um, the TR at this time, the different editions that were available, um, like I said, just a piece of history, and I thought it was just something that I was interested in, 
and uh, something I thought some of the people that watch this YouTube uh, channel might be interested in too. So hope you like this. If you like these sorts of things, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe.